Hey guys, this morning I'm going to be praying with Psalm 3. Um, so again, we're going to read the chapter, Psalm 3, all the way through. We're going to look for questions we have, things that stuck out to us. Um, we may read it again, and then pick a few verses that we want to think about, and we'll also give some commentary from the Orthodox Study Bible. So, here's Psalm 3. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. For you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. You heard me when I called, O God, of my righteousness. You strengthened my heart when I was in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, O you sons of men, will you be slow of heart? Why do you love vain things and seek after lies? Know that the Lord made his Holy One wondrous. The Lord will hear me when I cry to him. Be angry, yet do not sin. Have remorse upon your beds for what you say in your hearts. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and hope in the Lord. There are many who say, Who will show us any good things? O Lord, the light of your face was stamped upon us. You put gladness in my heart. From their seasons of wheat, wine, and oil they were multiplied. I will both sleep and rest in peace, for you alone, O Lord, cause me to dwell in hope. Okay, so... That was our first reading of Psalm 3. And the things that stuck out for me was in Psalm 4. But you, O Lord, are my protector, the glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. And then verse 5 and 6. I lay down and slept. I woke, for the Lord will help me. And then at the end, the very last verse. Oh. Sorry, I guess I read Psalm 4 also. Um, anyway, we'll stick with those verses. Um, so those are the verses that stuck out to me. I don't really have any questions yet, except um, just it seems like, you know, David, who wrote this psalm, is in distress, and I wonder why. So let's read it one more time. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousand of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. For you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. So what stuck out to me that last time was the last two verses of Psalm 3. Um, Save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were at enmity with me. Enmity is like hateful towards me, or in conflict with me, or fighting against me. Um, you broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. So, you broke the teeth of sinners is pretty intense. Um, and um, in the end, salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing on your people. So, he was in distress earlier, I noticed, and then at the end, salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. So, he ends on a hopeful note. So, let's see what... Um, the Orthodox Study Bible says about this psalm. It said that um, Psalm 3 is actually the first psalm that we read in the Matin service. Um, we read six psalms at the very beginning of Matins. Um, and then we have five other psalms that are um, all about the morning. And so um, that's an interesting th thing to know about this psalm. Um, and then it also says that th there's a heading before Psalm 3. It's not an actual verse in the Bible, but 
it says a psalm by David when he fled from the face of his son Absalom. So there's a historical account be behind this story, a, 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 a story in scripture that you could read. Um, it says Second Kings 15 through 18 is that story. So King David um, was the king of Israel and during this story, he was fleeing from his son who wanted to kill him and his son's name was Absalom and Absalom wanted to take the throne from David and become king himself. Um, I don't remember if he was the firstborn son. No, I don't think he was because I'm pretty sure Solomon was. And, uh, but Absalom wanted the throne because he wasn't the firstborn son. And I think he was jealous of Solomon because Solomon was born kind of illegitimately. Uh, King David, uh, in, the, in the story of David and Bathsheba, he, um, anyway, uh, there was some controversy over Solomon's birth. We'll leave it at that. So, um, that's what it's telling us for content. Um, it's a, it's an important psalm because it's, um, part of our, uh, Matin service and it has a history behind it so we can learn quite a bit from it. Um, and then let's look at some of the verses that um, it, it talks about in the Orthodox Study Bible, or we could look at the ones that uh, we said stuck out to us. So, like I said, the, the, one I kinda, the verses I kinda wanted to pray through were the ones that stuck out to me. Um, verse four, f five, and nine. So let's read those again. Verse four says, But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory in the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I laid me down and I slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. And then let's skip to verse nine. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. So we can learn from this psalm that David was fleeing for his life in danger from his, his son who wanted to kill him. And David is basically praying and, and singing to the Lord, possibly, because a lot of these psalms were put to music. And, and David, in this place of distress, um, is saying, O Lord, you are my protector, the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me. So he was praying for God for help, and he, he was trusting God and calling him his protector. And he said he cried to the Lord, and he heard me. So he was praying and he felt that the Lord heard his prayer. And in fact, he did escape um, in this story from his son Absalom. And I believe that uh, Absalom's army was um, defeated. Um, he says in verse six, I laid down and I slept. I woke for the Lord will help me. So even though he was fleeing for his life, he said, I'll be at peace because the Lord will help me. You know, when we're anxious, we stay up all night thinking about what could go wrong. But he's saying, I, I slept well that night because I felt that God uh, was with me and he helped me. That was verse six. And then finally, the last verse I wanna pray through and think about is verse nine. Salvation is of the Lord and your blessing is upon your people. So in a similar thought, um, he, he's saying, to all of us, that salvation is of the Lord. David was delivered from his um, persecutor, Saul, uh, Absalom. And he says, your blessing is upon your people. So he's encouraging us that um, when we're in distress, if we cry out to the Lord, he will hear us. Uh, we're probably not in danger for our lives, but you know, um, many of us go through great hardships, even in our young years. And uh, I remember when I was kid my parents were going through a divorce and I remember reading through the Psalms and this was one I, I can remember even till today that uh you know I I took that to heart what the Psalm said that God is my pr protector he hears me when I pray I can lay down and sleep and not be worried because salvation is from the Lord so anyway I hope that's encouraging for you and um if you have your own questions um and things that stuck out to you um pray through a few verses on your own and um, if you have any questions you can email me or message me and uh, we will pray again t again tomorrow hopefully
uh, God willing. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.